Um, my name is Samantha, and I also go by Sammy. And I am 27 years old. I have bipolar type 1 disorder and social anxiety disorder. Bipolar 1 has um, what's called true mania, which is the, you know, mania where the person can lose touch with reality. This video is going to kind of be talking about like stuff I did when I was having bipolar symptoms, delusions, and hallucinations. I just thought I would feel safer if I had a gun like in my house. I've been better for three years and I would like to go see if I can buy a gun. I honestly I have no idea whether I'll pass a background check or not. Sammy says she's been in a mental institution twice, once voluntarily, and once involuntarily. In that second case, she says she was kept under close supervision for eight days. I went involuntarily to the hospital. I had no control over my mind, really. Um, not in the violent way, but in a delusional way. I thought that Jesus was talking to me. I thought I was the Dalai Lama. The police saw me wandering down the street. Um, taking my clothes off. They were kind of like leading me to their police car, you know, to be like, she needs to go to the hospital. And I wouldn't get in the car, so they put handcuffs on me. And anything in particular, my, or you just, I got. If you're not to have a lot of shooting experiences, a lot of people suggest uh, a revolver. Have you been adjudicated mentally defective? Has a judge said you're crazy? Not a judge. No, a judge is uh, adjudicated means you've been ju a judgment uh, that you've been committed. The form also asks, have you ever been committed to a mental institution? If you're worried about being committed or self-committed, uh, yeah, don't worry about treat treatment places or five days or those type of places. That, that doesn't... So just a judge has to... That a judge said that you are incapable. Oh, got it. Got it. I've been better for three years, but I was, you know, a little bit surprised that I was able to get it or that there was nothing on my background check. When I was suicidal and going through symptoms, I would think, you know, that I would probably be less safe owning a gun. Um, but now that I'm stable, I would feel more safe, so it's a different situation. 